like NFL sponsors saying they the support, fake shit. Yeah, we support the movement. Yeah, fake oh, okay, shit. Okay. Vague, real well, how like what what he wasn't gonna move mountains with the first uh, dude. Uh, I mean, I know, but just you gotta get you gotta warm the NFL up. Like dude, you gotta warm the. That's what I'm saying. Then like. If it can't be the way it need to be, what was the point of making the deal? It's bro? never going to be the way yeah. it needed to be because it's with the NFL, one. Yeah. And the NFL is not going to change police brutality. That, that's the main thing I'm trying to understand. So, right? Shouldn't the warm-up part, though, have been the kneeling kind of? You know what I mean? That is not warming up. I mean, At I feel that you, point, but I'm you just are saying. making yeah. enemies out of the NFL. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Because you got to remember how mean. many uh, Blue Live Matters like type people watch the Dude. NFL, you know. It's I, I was ben just blue line. just just in the store uh just just a minute ago seeing some lady with a blue line shirt on like get that shit out of here bro that shit irritates me uh, that shit it, like this the whole thing I fuck with first responders policemen all the thank you for your service so on right. and so it's forth it's a tough job but at the end of the day it is a job it is a job you know what I'm saying like it's mm-hmm. I understand it's a career, it's a profession. You can't really take it off, quote unquote. You didn't start off a cop. You know right. what I'm saying? Like you weren't nobody's just born a fucking cop. And nobody forced you to be a cop. Yeah. So just a little background, we're kinda of talking about Jay Z's deal with the NFL and he just announced the first move with them is to uh what I think uh opening night. They're gonna have a concert with what Megan Trainer, Meek, Meek Mill, Mill, Rhapsody, yeah, uh, to try to and with the peril and stuff like that. So basically, all of the Jay Z jokes are flying right now. Yeah, and it's funny. It's, it's shit is it's hilarious. funny as fuck to look at. I can't even front. It's I don't know. My whole line of thinking is I just didn't think anything dramatic was gonna come on the first move. I didn't like. I think people expected Colin Kaepernick to get a job. You know, for the first move. Yeah. I didn't think just. Man, and let me say, low key, I'm a little disappointed in my Chiefs for not going and picking him up. Just to be real That's honest. a quality backup. It's a quality backup, and it matches your starter. But you know what, though? Same like... same play style. I mean, obviously, Cap is no Patrick Mahomes. Fuck no. But at the end of the day, <laughs> you got two scrambling quarterbacks. I mean, because Pat can scramble. And. You know, with the way that that offense is set up, it works very well with Kaepernick. Yeah. Now, and that was the main thing, though. I think he was getting offers to be a backup, but he wanted a start at starting position. And I understand when you got motherfuckers like Blake Bortles still with a job. Mm-hmm. Uh, you got, uh, at the time, you had Blake Bortles. Uh, who was and it? And Blake Bortles still has a job. He's a backup. Fitzpatrick as a starting quarterback. Yeah. Ryan Fitzpatrick as a starting quarterback. Yeah. Like, yeah, but I think that ship sailed now. You, I mean, you definitely need to accept a backup role. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, nah, that ship has sailed. And like, I think it's a lot of pressure on the Colts to go after him. You think so? Yeah, I can kind of see. Y'all ain't got no trust in Jake Brisket. No, but it's to not be a backup. To be a backup. Oh, yeah. just to be the backup. Yeah, because I was like, they're kind of similar when you like look at their play styles too. Exactly. So it, I mean, if you go, you're gonna have to de- uh, devise a scheme to fit these mm-hmm. to fit these guys. So yeah, you kind of right that. It would be imperative for them to go after him, even though I'm still seeing this man, uh, Brock Osweiler, getting entertained offers. Why? We know what he is. Garbage. At this point, man, you know what it is. <laughs> yeah. You know what it is. Bro, bro. see? I'm tired of talking about it. Uh, yeah, you're right, bro. I just get so upset every time I think about it. With the Jay-Z deal and the performers, like him kind of bringing performers back in the NFL, at the end of the day, wasn't it kind of the NFL's choice to get away from... This kind of genre of performers in in the first place. Yeah, because they wanted to go with people like uh, what, what's the lady that does the opening for what is it Sunday? Carrie night? Underwood. Yeah, I thought it was Shania Twain. I've, I've, Probably it. Probably, uh, I know. I I'm pretty sure it's Carrie Underwood. They moved it to Carrie Underwood. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was Shania Twain though, right? Or am I tripping? Shit, I don't know. I have no idea. All, right, know. Bro, I, I, all I seen was a blonde country singer and like. Yeah, I don't think Shania Twain's blonde. She not. Pretty sure she brunette. Yeah. You sure she ain't changing her color over the years? I don't know, man. See, bro. Maybe. I'm out. I'm talking outside seen, of my neck. Yeah, I ain't seen Shania Twain <laughs> in a long Carrie time. You know, Carrie Underwood is America's cutie pie. Her and Cheryl Crow. Yeah. Even though Cheryl Crow five. <laughs> On the record. <laughs> On the record. <laughs> On the record. Cheryl Crow five. I don't care. 
But I mean, really, like, I don't know. Is there anything more recent that I'm just oblivious to? But uh, the Janet Jackson and uh, Justin Timberlake situation <laughs> when that happened. But I mean, when that happened, the NFL really tried. To <laughs> <laughs> this dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, this is a grown ass man, one old titty. That funny. One ho- I'm sorry. One old titty. <laughs> <laughs> legendary moment. Hey, it bro. was a legendary hey, moment. Bro, I'll never forget. I'm literally upstairs eating leftovers from the damn <laughs> casino, watching the game, bro. And all I see is a titty. I'm gonna have titty. titty. By the end of this song. <laughs> hey. <laughs> titty. Bro, it just. It, I don't know. And what we was little. That yeah, was bro, like was I was seven. Shit. Pretty sure I was. We said fourth grade, something like that. Was we? I hadn't even moved to Kansas City yet. See, so okay, because I feel like I was in the third grade or something like that. I was yeah, like nine or it, ten. Yeah, it was, it was like four. third, third, fourth grade. So yeah. I mean, yeah, for, especially for like our generation, that Boy. was quite a moment. Like shocked, just sitting there, huh? The worst part is though, I it's fucked up because I expected more out of the titty. I don't know. I, this is Janet Jackson. <laughs> Bro, she was still, like, almost 40 at the time. I know, no. Yeah. Like, it's just, you know, call me Miss Janet if you nasty. That's what right, I was... bro. It's a little you, droopy, nigga. Hey, bro. Titties gonna be a little I'm, droopy. Bro, I'm 10 years old. I am very immature. I'm expecting titties to look perfect. Yeah, you are. You get what I'm saying? The best part about that shit, though, the next day. And all <sighs> them talk shows on the Today Show. You know, stay damn I awesome. apologize. Bro. <laughs> Was like, it wasn't supposed to happen uh, like that. It was supposed to happen. It was like that. It was supposed to happen like that. She had a warm up bra on. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> Snatched that shit. <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> All that leather <laughs> shit. <laughs> Boob sweat. But so from that, I feel like that's really where the NFL really distanced themselves from. You know, more so urban music. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, it's Janet Jackson. Like, I know. That, at that point, that's not even urban, urban music. Right. But at the Justin same time... Justin Timberlake was more urban than she was. That's I'm pretty sure... I, I don't know who all was a part of that, but I'm pretty sure Nelly was a part of that. Because that's when Hot in Here was super yeah, hot. Hold on, let me throw this in there real quick. <laughs> Justified as a certified classic. Justin Timberlake, first solo album. Oh, yeah. Certified classic. Yeah. Yeah, of no, course. he had like two or three songs produced by uh, Pharrell and the Neptunes. Alfaristo. Delicious. And by that time, he was working with Timbo, wasn't he? Oh, yeah, bro. He was working with both of them. Yeah, so. Yeah. Ooh. Just to kind of sidetrack for a second. Bro, do you ever think about the producing talent that has came out of Virginia? Because you, you got, got the Neptunes, right? Uh huh. You got you Timbo. And then you got Missy. Missy, yup. Mm. And then. Like the granddaddy of them all, Teddy fucking Riley. Ooh, that's disgusting. I wonder what the fuck are they doing out in Virginia to get that much talent? Trying to get the fuck out of there. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they doing. Facts. Word. You see uh, Missy's performance at the VMAs? I actually, I didn't get to watch it. No, no. Yeah. I, I haven't seen it either, but I and have seen a lot of talk about it. She brought the little girl that was in her video. Yeah, she grown now and shit yep. with short hair. It fucked me up. Because I was like, she still look young as fuck. You know what's weird, though? Everybody was like, yo, she just fell off the face of the earth. You know she was in, like, the sequels of the Step Up movies? I'm sure. I was like, one of, I, I swear to y'all, I feel like I'm one of the few people on earth to actually watch those. She's been active. I mean, she's been doing shit. Since. And then, didn't she used to be on Mike's Super Short Show? My Super Short Show? Yeah, see? That's where I knew her first. Oh, shit. I, I knew her from the videos, and then when I started watching Disney Channel, I was like, oh, it's it's her. Like, oh, okay. And like, you know, just made the connection there. Oh, uh, okay. And then, yeah. After that, I didn't see it. Like, she, I think she must have went back to school or something for a second to try to, like, try to live a normal life. And then I started seeing her in them step-up movies. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, that's cool. That's cool. She's got a, mm-hmm. she had a little career. She's probably, like, some... You know, uh, uh, what are they called? Choreographer now? Or something like that. All right, let's talk about what the world has been talking about for the past month. And that is chicken. <laughs> let's nigger it up. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> it's time. Uh, bro, because I've never seen such... <sighs> Hysteria, man. Bro. It's just like... Vigor. Yeah. yeah. Motherfuckers is like losing their damn minds over chicken. 
That joint was fire, though. It was fire. I <laughs> went. Man, see, like, now I feel like the odd man now because I didn't get to try one. Yeah. And, like, I, I like to think, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a chicken connoisseur. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel it. You a nigga? <laughs> 110%. And I'm I'm upset I didn't get to try one. Every time I tried to get one, literally there was a line out the door, and then the drive-in line was oh, almost it was around the building, and mm -hmm. sometimes down the block. It was ridiculous. Yeah, I was just like, all right, bro. And then every time you would look at the door, it would literally like, yeah, we are out of chicken sandwiches. So I would have to wait until like the next two days when I get another shipment of chicken. Shit, I called them before I went. Oh no shit. shit! Yeah, I Dude. called them. I was like, y'all got chicken sandwiches? Like, yeah, we do. When I went up there, and as soon as I got into the lot, a, a, a car was racing me to the drive through bro. It was bad. Mm. I'm just like, it's that deep. I remember I see you put that on Snapchat. Well, <laughs> look, when 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 you hit the group chat and, and said, hey, everybody go try this chicken sandwich, I didn't even know the hype around it yet or anything, <laughs> right? So I, I, I'm looking at it, and I was hadn't hadn't been up too long, hadn't ate yet, and I was like... All right, chicken sandwich from Popeyes. That's that sounds like it, was, cool it should, it should be day. cool. All right, let me go to Popeyes. Get to Popeyes. What the fuck is going on here? Right. Like the whole, all the way around the building. I'm sitting in line for a couple seconds. Which one did you go to? I went to the one uh, off Barry. Okay, uh, across okay. from Zona. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the same one I went to. Yeah, the yeah. one off Prairie View. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right yeah. On. yeah. The worst part is me and Freelance B with. To that one and the one on Antioch, and we was like, bro, we gotta get this chicken sandwich, right? Damn. Sold out at both, and we was Damn. just like, shit, if they sold out up here, I know they sold out in the city. Ain't Whoa. no way we was finna drive all the way to uh, uh, 31st and Linwood, excuse me, Linwood and Prospect. Niggas fighting on sandwiches. Bro, I was just like, nope, Man. nope, because I'm, I'm not finna catch a case over a goddamn chicken sandwich. It'll come back. Bro, I'm I, scared it's not gonna be as good though, hey, when it come back. Uh,. I don't know. Watch. People going to say that, and then it's going to fuck with my perception of the chicken sandwich. I feel you. And then yeah. I'm not going to be able to fully enjoy it how it's supposed to be enjoyed. Because you know people be saying shit like that just I, to say just, it Just real. to fuck it up. Just yeah. to fuck it up. That's all. Yeah, so I, I straight parked and just went in. I was like, fuck it. And it was funny because there was, yeah, there was uh, two uh, elderly ladies behind me. And they was like, man, I hope they ain't sold out of the chicken sandwich <laughs> like the other one was. Man, low-key, I felt bad because I ordered my chicken sandwich. And they was like, oh, okay, yeah. Uh, spicy or regular? I was like, spicy, duh. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that a question? <laughs> Levi, I'm secretly in there. You, you didn't hit him with the, you know I'm here? <laughs> you know I'm here. <laughs> but see, I still didn't know, like, the hype around oh, it yet, gotcha. for real. So, I'm just sitting there chilling and not even really, it's chicken sandwich from Popeye's. Like, mm -hmm. let's, we'll try it out. And, uh, I was just thinking, like, man, if I get this chicken sandwich and these women don't get a chicken sandwich... I will cut this bitch in half and give it to them. Oh, and shit. And walk out, bro. I felt so bad. <laughs> Look at this but, man out here being hey, altruistic. I know. Everybody got their chicken sandwich. Everybody was happy. But, like, you could tell that Popeyes had been hit. Hard. I had, first I went for the strawberry Fanta. No strawberry Fanta. None at all. Went for the sweet tea. No sweet tea. Damn. No sweet tea? No sweet tea, that man. Man. That, that hurts. hurts. Boy, I, so, I'm pretty sure my blood is like 20% sweet tea. Uh, same. <laughs> At this point, bro? <laughs> yeah, same. 5% diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> so I had, it, I had to wash it down with a little Dr. Pepper. So. And that's the fucked up part because that's the most delicious soda. And right? You had to settle. I had to settle, settle, man. For Dr. Pepper. It's, Dr. Pepper is far. And like, even though, like, all in all, pop is, like, just really bad. Yeah. It's really bad. That's some elite shit though. But it's really good. Either that at or at the same time. I, I'm not gonna lie, the uh the hick in me uh fucks with Mountain Dew Code Red. Tough. Yeah. Code Mountain Red Dew. cool, bro. Mountain, Mountain Dew. Dew. <laughs> all right, let's all right, so sandwich. Yeah. Sandwich. Sandwich was heat. That's uh, a, it was a big ass sandwich. Bro. It was a big ass sandwich. I was surprised. So these motherfuckers gave me a whole box of fries. I asked for a small Ooh. order of fries. I got a whole box, like the biscuits come in. Whole Damn, box son. filled with fries, bro. I'm, I was full. I was I, I was yeah. very full. Damn, boy. Did you leave them a, a, a good review? I should go leave them a very yeah, nice review. You, you are right. Let, did, let, did, let did me you hit you up find Google. anybody name? No. No, no, no. But I didn't know <laughs> until I got home I had a whole box of fries. So, uh, my only complaint. Only complaint. My only complaint is I got cucumbers on my 
sandwich. You had uh, really? slightly pickled, slightly pickled, pickled cucumbers. cucumbers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's Those trash. Were big. What? I was like real thick. The sandwiches I seen or the yeah yeah the pickles they were I seen real the thick. Pickle, like I seen pictures of the pickles. I was like, bro, who want a thick ass pickle yeah. like that, bro? Some people like that. I mean, I I, I'm be, a pickle eating person. It would damn. be cool if it was fully pickled, but you get halfway through the. It, it's like, it was like biting into something that's like fried but not cooked all the way. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I but, took a bite. I took a bite of a little bit of pickle just mm-hmm. to see you know how it tastes all together, and then I just took them off. Yeah, I I ended up taking them yeah. off too because I was like, I'm mm-hmm. I'm done with these cucumbers on my chicken sandwich. I, I don't know. Man. If it was like Chick Fil A's where it's just real small the, the and kind of cooked pickles, into yeah. it, yeah, but far the way it just kind of soak into the bread. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Real talk, you All could right. take them off and you still taste pickles. Mm-hmm. That's a fact. That's a fact. Low key, bro, I can't eat a burn in without my pickles. I feel mm-hmm. it. Yeah, from Gates, like if mm-hmm. I don't have a pickle with my burn in, bro, like it's not really a burn in to me. Man, yeah, you just ruined my day. I'm sorry. I might just have to uh, bro, make that move. Yeah, I, I might him, have to make that tell move. Tell him you're going to be like me, dog. Man, that sandwich, bro. <laughs> that sandwich really you. tasted like Popeye's chicken, though. And I was yeah, surprised. it really did. did. Like, it really tasted like you was eating regular Popeye's chicken. Mm-hmm. But it was just deboned and mm-hmm. thrown on the sandwich. Damn. But it was still, it was juicier, though. Yeah. Stop. I know. Stop. I'm sorry. I'm upset. <laughs> I'm the sand- the sandwich was great, but the internet has absolutely overhyped the sandwich. They overdid it. They overdid it. I don't see. Okay, they overhyped it when you're saying they shitting on Chick Fil A. To me, right. it's not shitting on right. Chick Fil A. But the sandwich is fire. Right. The sandwich is fire, but it's not shitting on Chick Fil A. Right. Like yeah, Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A is always one for one. Chick Chick Fil A is always gonna win. Because they're consistent. They don't run out of chicken sandwiches. They don't run too. out of chicken sandwiches. For <laughs> they, one. They may not be open on Sunday, but I feel like that's the secret ingredient. Exactly. Quality control. Yeah. So. Even though I do be upset certain Sundays. Like, mm, I can go for a. Never mind. Let's be real. Chick-fil-A beating, killing everybody with the sauce. Yeah. Nobody coming close. Yeah. Not a sauce. Nobody. Because, bro, Polynesian sauce is the greatest thing ever created. Polynesian and Chick-fil-A, nigga, I'm straight. Yeah. That's actually Polynesian bad. and Chick Fil A sauce. I'm good. Yep. I don't need nothing else. They ranches hit a little different. I'm gonna have to make a couple runs before. I work. haven't even tried the ranch before. <laughs> I feel it. I'm eating good today. You I hear feel me? it. <laughs> Real shit. Even, I'm not even mad, boy. Might have to hit a bang bang. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Bang bang. Uh, bang, bang bang. bang. <laughs> and for for the folks who don't know what a bang bang is, that is literally where you eat a meal and then you eat another meal right after. From from another place. Yes. You know what I mean? Two Grab me some spots. gates and some Chick fil A. Hit that, you know, he was in middle school, high school, hit that. Can I get the double lunch? Ooh. <laughs> Two lunches. Two the lunches. Lunch, boy, that's where you know you didn't eat shit all day. You Man. ain't gonna eat shit when you get home, so you better double up now. That's not even why I did it, nigga. I just did it just because. Real shit? Yeah, just, nigga. Just, just off the rip. Just. Especially when you get them rectangle pieces, nigga. Mm, uh, fair enough. Man. I need two. Nah, I need two of them. Nah, on the burrito <laughs> bar day, I used to hit like, yo, give me the double lunch. In the what? On, on the burrito bar day. Ooh. Yes. Low key, bro, they was shitting on Chipotle back in the day. Uh, Ch- Chipotle shitty anyways. But that's I, I am day. in agreement with my brother. Are you nigga shitty? I, I think, I'll eat it. I think it's very convenient. It. Like it's Chipotle. It's too expensive to be that convenient, bro. That's my main thing. It, it's it's too expensive and it's way overhyped and it's not that good. I gotta pay eight dollars for a bowl, big. It's dog. not that good, man. It's 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 all right. It's all right. it's a mid. The burrito is huge. It is. Mm-hmm. And I mean, it's cool on a certain day, like you know. What just, I, mean? I think it's just real convenient. That's all. Yeah, cause I, I, mean, I, I still rather go to the local authentic, yes, tacos, burritos. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes, but, yes. Cause uh, three I just feel like being an American. I'll go to Taco Bell. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be real. You know I'm, what I'm, I'm more impartial to do that. If I go to Taco Bell, American that day, same shit. A lot okay. cheaper. Uh, yeah, for that eight dollars, I can get the left side of the menu at Taco bit, Bell. You getting a little bit better meat at Chip, uh, Chipotle? A little bit. Quality I said work. a little bit, a little he, bit he, better. He, he right. I okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. So how many times in the last five years oh, has Taco Bell's meat been pulled <laughs> off the shelves? Taco Bell's meat is sand, nigga. Nah, 
Hey, okay, it still ain't got E. coli in it. Hey. LeBron chop tossed that meat before they put it in the back. <laughs> hey. But it still don't have E. coli in to it, okay? Whole, it, can, to, it ain't real enough to get hey, E. coli. To keep it a whole bill. You, no you got to remember in 20, what was it, 2011, bro, they got hit with a lawsuit because they shit was literally a grade above dog food. <laughs> Taco Bell. Taco Bell, yeah, yeah. They, when you eat now, that shit, though, though you, could, you, yeah, can you, can, you can tell. You can tell afterwards, you like, ooh, nigga, roof. Yep. <laughs> Shout out to my OG. My nigga called that shit Taco Hill. Taco Hill. Big dog Reggie. <laughs> yeah. Taco hell. Cause boy, many a toilet. Yeah. Ruined. Yeah. <laughs> Ruined. Yeah. Hey, you hit that on the wrong day, boy. boy. Uh-uh. Nah, I don't know how niggas was eating that shit for lunch at school. Ooh. Man. <laughs> like, cause we had open lunch. No. Yeah. Woo. Yeah, I was just like, I know y'all ruining everything. Speaking of which, why the fuck was they giving us milk with everything, dog? They wanted us to be. They wanted up. us to be. They like. Yeah. They really wanted us to die. I don't know how we wasn't like just shitting and farting in <laughs> class and shit. This bro. the worst part, bro. I really was having like gastrointestinal issues in high school, but like I just couldn't do nothing. So like, cause you know you can't fart in class. Like, but nah, niggas gonna laugh at you. You stink now. Like, especially for the big <laughs> nigga in class, bro. Nigga, bro nigga, bro, even, <laughs> even if you got just a little gut, yeah, five, fat, ugly fat ass nigga, like uh, you farted, bro. Exactly. <laughs> like now, like you're forever stained, bro. <laughs> so like. <laughs> So, like, bro, I'd be sitting there. I'm talking about, nigga, my shit is doing 20-hit combos in my stomach. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm, I'm like, oh. Hey. Real shit, bro. Somebody's hitting scratches and shit, bro. You remember the dude we went to school with? He was straight up just, like, rip ass. Oh, Andrew Sorry. Hern- Andrew Hernowitz. Bro, Damn. this nigga. Good I, government. I can't remember his name. <laughs> <laughs> I can't forget his name, bro. Cuz was like. I, I can't either, bro. bro. I, was, I was trying to. Be. Nah, fuck that. <laughs> this man was like 6'1 in the eighth grade. Damn. A solid. The strongest motherfucker I'm you will ever see. Strong as an ox. This nigga was like probably 2'10 <coughs> in the eighth grade, right? Yeah. This nigga would just straight up. He would drink like two, three milks at lunch. Yeah. Double lunch every day. Every day. I'm talking about just straight rip ass. And like just sorry. sorry. And that shit be fast. <laughs> like you smell it. Bro, it was like Yo, teachers would be bad at you. Get out of my class. <laughs> bro. Cuz I had them, he had them protein shake farts. Like you ever uh, like <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking uh, about, bro. The protein shake farts, bro. Boy. Off of, mm. off of milk. I was just like, Jesus Christ, bro. And don't you nobody... switch to that new protein and you just mm. Mm. Uh-uh. <laughs> oh, bro, you God. remember when like protein first started getting big Everybody and nobody cared one. about themselves and they just got the cheap ones? That Man. shit will tear your stomach up. It'll tear your stomach up. You'll just end up gaining a bunch of weight without mu because motherfuckers wasn't doing the right muscle training regimens yeah. to be ingesting or, that much. Or not even working out. Because I mean, a lot of people I feel like thought it was almost damn near a supplement. Yeah. Or, they, they, or you uh, know, like for a meal or yeah, something. They thought it was you know? yeah. Oh, yeah. They thought it was yeah. a replacement. Oh, I'm, I'm I don't have to eat today. Yeah. I remember when I first started lifting, dog, I bought that Walmart shit. Like 15 Same. bucks. Uh, Same. Yep. No. You know what? I, motherfucking EDJ should be here right now because I swear to God, the first time I ever tried any of that shit was uh, we had worked out and uh, like. EDJ you know, lifted? Yeah, stayed up like all night. He had like this little machine in his. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no. Go ahead, bro. I'm, I'm gonna bring this up in a second. All right. <laughs> but he, oh, oh my God, this man. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let me finish this. Then I'll let you get to that. <laughs> Sorry, EDJ, that you are not here to defend oh, no. yourself for what's about to happen. But I'm so, on anyways, your ass. <laughs> I'm on your ass. So he had this machine in the uh, basement, like actually where we recorded uh, episode eight and nine down there, and we worked out like. You know, we was, what, fucking middle school or something. We was staying up all night and just doing dumb shit. And, like, it was probably a half-ass workout. Like, not even a real workout. Gains, bro, bro. right? So, we went down to the store and bought that shit. I think it was that EAS or whatever. Bro, straight shitting all day. (laughs) (laughs) Ain't had no sleep. And now I got bubble guts all goddamn day. In and out the bathroom. Oh, my God. Oh, you going? Oh, make it quick. Oh, I gotta bro. go. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> Please. Uh, Shitting nah. out games. All the games. All day. All the games, bro. 
Nah, I'll never forget when this man Levi used to have a weight bench at his crib, right? And his shit, shit just happened to be inconveniently placed next to his fucking PlayStation. Oh, my God. Bro, and uh, this man, Eric, tried to put too much weight on there, and he didn't clamp the ball. Oh, God. Well, yeah, there was no clamps for it, so <laughs> it, was, it was always low weight, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, like you just do high reps, low mm-hmm. weight, right? Because you're really just trying to cut shit. You ain't trying to lift heavy. This nigga thought he was Billy Badass this day and put, <laughs> like, three, uh, three uh, weights on there, right? He... Lifted it up all the way and it just went sideways, <laughs> and bro. That shit just crushed. My man is like 75 pounds right on the PlayStation, bro. No. And bro, and you know how flimsy the PS3s was, bro. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker still worked for about a week. And it was the original. The no. original three, the big ass no. one. Big still played the, big still played the PlayStation 2 games, right? Yes, I'd cool. had that bitch for like three years. Damn. It was no more. You know, I had one? That's neither here nor there. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. It's all hey, water under the bridge. Yep, we was kids. Yeah. We gonna leave it like that. I just can't let that shit go. That shit beyond funny to me, bro. He did offer me his PlayStation, but I, I was like, no, that's, no, that's cool. It's all good, bro. We'll <laughs> I ended up getting a new one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Easy, Jay, you got some explaining to do when you get back, boy. <laughs> 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 all right, so uh, today we uh, today is a very special day. Very special. Mm-hmm. One of my favorite days. Today's draft day for us. Draft day. Draft motherfucking day. Draft day? Yeah. Uh, this is... Everybody knows, like, right after the season ends, so in February, I'm already thinking about the following fantasy year. I'm Everyone gonna, is a fantasy nut. I'm a Nerd. fucking, I'm a sicko when it comes to this shit. Mm-hmm. Right? And a terrible commissioner. I'm an awful fucking commissioner. I'm surprised I have not been voted out. Loki, I'm like Roger Goodell. I get booed every time it's draft day. <laughs> Bro. With the first, he pick. tells everybody Bro. the draft. He I tells th- everybody about the draft the day before. I really do. Yeah. I mean, y'all should have y'all draft strategies already. No, together. fuck you. Y'all been watching preseason. Where's your draft strategy? Fuck this. Mm-mm. Hey, uh, quick little shout out to the league just for uh, putting us on. This oh yeah, at, bro. At, at what was this? Twenty eleven. Changed my life. This dude. He's not even gonna use him. Who? What? Bryce can Saquon. He's not even. Gonna hey, use bro. Him. I'm off. Saquon. I'm off Saquon this year. For I'm really? Saquon. That is a going to be a bad offense. He's going to get worn down. Fair enough. Fair enough. He might get worn down. He's going to get the worn same down. time. He's going to get a lot of touches. I'm not going. Yeah, them first ten weeks going to be dope. Yeah. On that back half, when I need him in them fantasy championships. Okay, you right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you absolutely right. <laughs> yeah, you, you absolutely I'm, right. I'm gonna start singing Negro spirituals for him. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, uh, honestly, I'm expecting Alvin Kamara to go dumb. He has no handcuff in Mark Ingram this year. He yep. about to go dumb. Worst part is, though, they going to try to wear him down. Yeah. They got enough in the passing attack, yeah, though. Yeah, that, but that's I what think. I was going to say. I was like, they can lean on the pass a bit more. Meanwhile, in New York, they have nobody to really pass it to outside of Evan Ingram. No, but they do have Eli. I'm, I'm done having that conversation. <laughs> I'm fucking done. Yeah. Hey, man. That's... Eli first battle Hall of Famer. He is. But right now, he's shitty. You're right. Inconsistent. <laughs> I'm happy with that. We we can move on now. I'm uh, happy. Fuck <laughs> you. Because uh, it disgusts me to say that shit. He is, though, I guess. You can have a, a very decent, inconsistent career, but you stamp putting the, beating the GOAT twice in the Super Bowl? And the, when it counts the most, yeah. 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 You, you got it. You went toe-to-toe with the GOAT and... Came out on top both times. Both times. It wasn't no, oh, I'll see you next time. Like, mm. Mm-hmm. And then disguised himself as Nick Foles and beat him a third time. <laughs> <laughs> <Swear to God. laughs> oh, well. It looks like that uh, Jadavion Clowney trade finally went through. Finally went through. Yeah. They, what, they, did they uh, really release the details of the pick? Oh, they, they made him auto drop. God damn it. You better not do it. You better not do it. Even though it wasn't no chance of me getting him. Go ahead and pick Zeke. Oh, no, Zeke. <laughs> oh, damn, I picked Zeke. Oh. I'll take Alvin Kamara, as my man was just talking about with my first hey, overall man. pick. Okay. He about to eat. Papa Schroeder got Alvin Kamara? Mm-hmm. Super Kamara, your bros? Uh-oh. Who, who Vince going to take? He, he, he going to fuck around and take Pat Mahomes. He's going to take a Chief. Pat Mahomes, is, bro. Pat Mahomes. Pat Mahomes. He is going to take a Chief. 
if everything goes according to plan, I should be able to take a Chiefs. Fuck you. Just to fuck with y'all. Oh, Just you to... bitch ass. He man. really took. Ugh. Okay. That's gross. Because you, 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 you take a Tyreek. Fuck That's you. Not in the first, though. Nigga, that is stupid. Uh, y'all are tripping. Ray is on the clock. Yeah. Who's your Jones is still on the clock? I mean, he's still on the draft board? Yeah, bro. This yes. whole thing, fantasy. As good as Julio is, I'm not taking him early first round. Shit. Ah, that's just me. He don't he don't score enough touchdowns, bro. I feel it. One and two. He getting up there. He is. He getting a little long in the tooth. At some point, he's got to have a drop off, right? I don't think David Johnson gonna have a good year. I don't think he'll have that great of a year. I, I'm. This is the whole thing. This is a hope pick, right? This is a hope pick. Uh, I'm not mad at David Johnson. Uh, Ray, Ray picked uh, David Johnson. Yeah, and it's it's the six picks in the first round. I hate being in the middle. Yeah, just last year just wasn't good enough for me. I don't know. I told Matt by the way. Like yeah. I yeah, I personally I told him yesterday. Hmm. Dove, 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 I told Isaac. Isaac can't be on time for shit though. Uh, we know this. Yeah. We know this. I, Isaac got real CPT. Man, bad. So. uh Levi said that like he don't have it. Oh. <laughs> I can relate. All right? Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm right there with him. All right. <laughs> Shit, I was what an hour late today. Hour and a half. <laughs> he understands on a personal on a personal level. <laughs> I get it. So let's uh, change the subject. And, uh, <laughs> as we're drafted, uh, has everybody seen the Dave Chappelle special? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Yes, we have. King of Controversy. Man, uh, I watched uh, most of it. I don't think I've gotten through all of it. I think that I probably got like 15 minutes left on it or something. Mm. But uh, I thought it was pretty good. I think yeah, I thought it was dope. It I, wasn't It wasn't as good as uh, uh, Age of Spin and um, Equanimity. Equanimity, but it was still pretty good to me. I, I really enjoyed it. This, the, my favorite special from him recently, his recent specials, has been, uh, what was that, the Cage Bird or the Bird Cage or something mm-hmm. like that? That one hit hit hard for me. I like that one a lot. That was the more intimate setting. Yeah, that yeah. was one where it was like in a smaller comedy club, like mm, I'm like yeah. you know, two hundred people in there and he was just killing and like you could tell he was just able to just really bear his soul for a few seconds, you know, on the stage. Yeah, he's put out a lot lately. Uh were those other two specials this year? Or was that last year? that was last year? Actually I think they was early either late two years ago or early a year ago. Yeah. So it's, it's been longer than what I'm saying. Nick Chubb. But... God damn it. Motherfuckers is vulturing picks. That's a little early to pick Nick Chubb, though. Yeah, it is. But I understand it. What, what, is, your the, favorite? what is this auto draft on, man? What was your Smart. favorite? Uh, yeah. Huh? What was your favorite joke? Favorite joke from oh, this uh, recent Chappelle. question? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the one that stands out in my head uh, that just had me kind of rolling is when he was kind of going with the. All the controversial stuff, and uh, when he was talking about the uh, everything. Well, yeah, yeah, no, the but the controversies like with the uh, uh, the R. Kelly and uh, yeah. Michael Jackson shit, because uh, he's like, uh, I don't believe them kids. <laughs> <laughs> that shit had me dying. Hey, I was bro. like, <laughs> but it, it's kind of some. They they sure didn't say nothing. Make this documentary before he died. They sure did. Anyways, neither here nor there. Yeah. Right. Mo- moving on to the uh, R. Kelly thing, uh, when he was talking about how they they tried to get him on the special so bad, and he was like, "I don't know him." <laughs> I was like, "I mean, you can't really yeah, talk not, about somebody's I, life I, you I don't know him at all." Him. Yeah, right. he don't know, dude. What, what you mean? <clears throat> but personally, I that was that was my favorite part. Uh, I don't know. I gotta I gotta go with the way he started it off. Because, like, it kind of, you know, made me just think about a lot of shit in perspective. You yeah, know it really saying? did, though. Because, like, bro, like he said, Anthony Bourdain low-key had, like, one of the, like, perceived, like, you know, outside perceivable best lives. Man. Mm-hmm. This man was literally paid to go around the world, eat outstanding food, mm-hmm. outstanding people, and he hung himself in a luxury suite in France. Yeah. Like, even his death was luxurious. You know what I'm saying? Meanwhile, his, his homeboy had it all going for himself, somehow lost it all. And still has the will to live. You know what I mean? It's crazy. It, it, depression is such a crazy thing. Yeah, because you would think all that the, his homeboy went through, you know, was in love with a girl, lost it, 
had a promising future for himself in law, lost that, and is working in a Foot Locker as a manager. And it's still just, he's living with his mother, completely content with life. You know what I'm saying? Like, just looks forward to the next day. Uh, that that Joe, it, even though, like, it was still kind of sobering, it was just funny how he put it, too. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, it, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I got to quit saying that. You know what I'm saying? 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 I'm starting to talk like some of these rappers, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, bro. <laughs> No, nah, because Red, Reddy was, uh, me and him was having a conversation about it, and I was noticing that, like, a lot of rappers have poor actual, like, public talking skills. Like, they can't really yeah. talk. Yeah. It's kind of bad. I think it's because, like, you when you, you think, you, you start uh, making a habit of thinking in the form that you're writing, and it kind of, you know, your regular speech pattern can't mimic that. So you kind of struggle with it. That's what I think. Not to really go off technical. No, nah, I feel what you're saying. And like yeah. Andy, you are on the clock. Yeah, he gonna take his boy. Julio! 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 Nigga, every time Julio even caught the ball, I was screaming and shit. <laughs> Julio! <laughs> Bro, he could have caught one, like, just for three yards. I was just, I'm screaming that shit. <laughs> uh, Nikita really went with Ty Gurley. Ooh. That's tough, bro. <sighs> Maybe you'll have a bounce back here, though. I'm so worried about dude. I I'm feel so it. worried. Mm -hmm. I hope that nigga got that German knee. He, this nigga really took Pat Mahomes in the second. This is our draft. What's wrong with the kid? Hey, this is our draft. I know. Listen, bunch of a fucking quarterback. Homers. Listen, <laughs> one, a bunch of fucking homers, and two. I mean, does Aaron Rodgers not go in the first two rounds every fucking year? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Bro. All right. This is our league. This yeah, is this like, is what over it Le'Veon Bell. Over Le'Veon Bell. Over James Conner. Even though I did change the quarterback rules, quarterbacks, if they uh throw a touchdown, it's six points now. Mm. But if they throw a pick, it's negative four. Mm. There's the caveat. Shit, I would have went Pat Mahomes in the first fucking round too. Shit, Negative. Shit. Six points for a touchdown. Boy, gonna throw another fifty. I'm, I'm, I'm saying about thirty nine this year. <laughs> oh, oh, you got about thirty one, huh? Uh huh. <laughs> what you scared for? I don't need to jinx nothing, you mm -hmm. know. Oh no, go ahead, keep putting that bad juju out there. <laughs> nah. <laughs> hey, uh, so I seen a. Uh, Fantasy names, that shit was hilarious. Oh, my boy went Odell. I'm, I'm not Odell. Mad. I'm not mad. Yeah. Now you want to talk about me? That's a hope pick. Hey, I'm sorry. <laughs> that is a hope pick. That's a hope pick, cause they that's really boom or bust. Mm -hmm. He's either about to go dumb, facts, or Randy gonna be looking dumb. I don't know. I think he, I think he could be in the middle. You think Fan so? fantasy wise? I don't think he'll have a decent season. Yeah. But at the same time, fantasy wise. I like Jarvis over Odell. Not I this had, year. What? Mm, no, this year. I disagree. Jarvis? Jarvis, Jarvis Landry. Mr. Jarvis Hell Landry, no. PPR, is a cold motherfucker. That, even though he hasn't been the same way because in Cleveland, they, they know they can spread the ball around. He's not going to get true. the ball as much. In Miami? Hell yeah. But that now, the only person on the field. Now with Odell there? Uh, I think that that helps take attention away from it Jarvis. It does because, bro, it's fucked up. They and Nick Chubb running in well. one spot. I just trying to put him at the one. No, keep Jarvis in the slot. That is his job. That mm -hmm. is he owns that shit. Yep. <laughs> All right, I guess I am. Uh, I'm gonna put the the auto pick on motherfuckers. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of people not in this draft right yeah, now. It is. Well, there's only one, two, three, four, five. Hey, who can we talk Let's see what up, Smarty Events. Uh, there's like a little chat. Oh yeah, chat yeah, on the yeah, side. Uh, we're using the sleeper app as well. Uh, yeah, a little bit different. Shout out the sleeper app. I really enjoy that. It's my favorite. It's my hey, favorite platform I'm a, for really? fantasy football. Yeah. I'm going to knock it down to 60 seconds instead. It's all right. From, Nigga, what? From two minutes to 60 seconds per pick. All right. Okay. Just to, because, like, it's going to. Speed it up for them. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm not trying to be here drafting all day, big dog. Oh, I feel that. But, uh, okay, so I've seen some uh, fantasy team names, and uh, one that stood out to me I thought was pretty funny was uh, DJ Chark. Juju, Juju, Juju. You know, like oh, the baby shark. Shit. That's, <laughs> hey, that's clever as hell. Right? 
even though I'm not gonna lie, a lot of they picks, be, like not picks, excuse me, a lot of names be kind of head ass. Yeah, that's funny as shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't just gonna pick. I feel like I got the best name out of everybody. Fat boy need a ten piece. Yeah, fat boy need a ten piece. Fat boy need a ten piece. I didn't even. I don't even have a name on this Levi one. Levi got a nigga name. <laughs> What's Levi eight one six. I know this shit real <laughs> basic, bro. Even though I need basic to change my fuck. name. My shit, I didn't know your username was gonna be your team name, though. No. I'm surprised you should. I'm surprised you didn't put Killer City. Killer City, <laughs> Levi Killer City. <laughs> <laughs> or my classic name of the sweller, the cellar dwellers. That is my that's my my classic name right there. Hey hey Ray, you remember uh, the Latin Cowboys? Who was that? That was you? That, that was, was Ray. Like, yeah, because I, I literally had said that was the worst pick I ever heard in my life. Like, not Hey, you and uh, B put a bet on a put game. A bet. He was just like, yeah, nigga, if I beat you this week, that's got to be your name for the like rest of the season. This is like week four. Damn. And I lost by like two fucking points to fucking Brian, who never plays. Never plays. Unless except, it's me. Except when he unless plays right. Because he's just fucking vindictive and petty like that. Yes. Bitch ass nigga. Uh, what just happened? I don't know. This shit like spaz for a second. It's all good though. You're on the clock, right? Yes, I am. Yeah. But you see that. Uh, yeah, it, like auto picked. For a brace and. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't like that. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't either. Fuck it. At least what, they what took if, two people if, I wasn't going to take. What that. if I wanted Le'Veon? That's bullshit. Good shit. Good fucking look. Yeah, who the fuck got Joe Mixon in the second round? King. Joe. Joseph. Oh, Vince is going to be pissed. Yeah, he is. <laughs> oh, that re- yep. Fuck you. Travis Kelsey, of course. Yo. I am not sure. Getting the tight end, tight end in the second round. His team is going to be Vince. trash. Vince. What are you of doing, course. baby? <laughs> No. Oh, no. <laughs> Schroeder, who you taking, bro? Mm. Papa Schro on the clock. Papa on the Schro clock. on the who, clock. Who, who you got, big dog? Huh? Juju. No, Juju. 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 Smith-Schuster. And the second? That ain't a bad pick. That ain't terrible. Yeah. yeah. He still got Big Ben, who still look like he got some juice in the arm. I, I, I don't know. At it. I, I feel like. That's some big shoes for him to fill, I feel though. like he, he had the Sanu effect. You know, everybody's keying in on uh, A.B. Yeah. And he was the beneficiary of that. So, we'll That's see how he nice. does with that number one spot. That's true, but I, I also think that Juju got the ability to be the, a solid number one. You think, do you think he'll be a top five receiver? Top? What do you think? Where do you think he'll rank at? He's going to be a top I, ten. Yeah, guy. I think he'll be up there close to the top five. Or, ooh, A.B.? We get into the shitty point of the receivers. Yeah, that's why I typically go. Like I, I I'm, I'm weird because like I like my shit to be even. So I go running back, receiver, running back, receiver, or receiver, running back, receiver, running back. My shit has to, like I get real OCD with this shit. I feel it. Come on, close me, baby. Zeke is still out there. Zeke, you that's who you going with? Hell no. Oh okay. Say I just want to love you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know what? I think I'm going to go with the Homer pick. Y'all was listening to 103 last night, and they actually mixed whole verse into Act Up, and that shit sounded pretty good. Did it? Yeah. Damian Williams? And the third? I, Dessert. I can't be too mad at Yeah, that. I can't. It's just, I'm, I'm scared of how they're going to do it. I'm scared they are. Because what's that boy's name? Darwin Thompson? Mm-hmm. I feel like they he just gonna be vulturing a lot of. Bro, he is not snaps. he is not good compared to uh, okay. Williams to me. Williams shit on him to me, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. bro, we are in a weird space right now. We really I'm are feeling it. That's a, that's really why I took Damian Williams because <laughs> I really didn't know who else. Now, honestly, Thielen was my other guy, but the only reason I didn't take Thielen is because he's got a shitty ass quarterback. Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Hey, man, if he had a at least average quarterback, I would have taken him. Average? He is. He's literally like the, he is the, he's the C-plus of fucking quarterbacks. Yeah, yeah you're right. <laughs> yeah. You are so he is a hard C-plus, right. B-minus. God damn, who the fuck? Who, who the fuck should I take? 
Hvor går det fuck is my word? Give me your belt. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Uh, Who's Ray going risky. with? Fuck it. Z. That is risky. Hey, it's third round. Risky right. as fuck. It's the third that round. Is risky, I can bro. get return on him because he's going to be back by like week four. All right, yeah. Are you sure? We'll see. Yep. He probably should be back by week fuck four. Fuck yeah. Jerry Jones is talking a big game, and you see him getting real soft right now. Mm-hmm. He's going to be back by week four. I can I can manage until week four. I'm expecting down the line. Like this is auto pick, Danny. I feel oh. it. Oh yeah, my bad. Oh, you have to manually. Do I have to time? manually do this That's shit. Wack. That shit. It is. That is it shit. is. But the good thing is though, I can just you know kind of hurry up and throw that in. Uh, one thing I feel like uh, I don't understand why apps like this have never made to like if you're not there. Like it can tell you it, who is who's there. there. It's got a green dot next to him. Yeah. So why why doesn't it just automatically do yeah, that anyway? Like on any of them, uh, it does that in the rest of them. Like no, really? Or, or excuse me, in the NFL fantasy okay, app, yeah. it does it like that. ESPN okay. it still does that same. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll just give them all day to pick. Yeah, but ESPN is also like the shittiest. Just to, to be fair, fair. Just to be completely fair, you know it's an app I heard was hard. But I just never got into them. Yahoo. I heard Word. Yahoo was the shit. Really? really? Interesting. Yeah. I always wanted to try them out, but just... Uh, that's some solo shit. I'll, I'll, I'll probably it. try doing that this week. I'll then I'll it. come I'll back with a, a a light review on it. My man. With the plan. Yep. Randy. Who you, who you going with, big dog? I think I'm going to go a little bit risky here. Just because I got damn near back-to-back picks. Oh. So... Yeah. I'm gonna go risky and secure another good wide receiver while there's uh, still good wide hey, receivers on hey the card. Bro, you know it auto picks for you. What the you fuck? Ran out of time. You was talking too much. This <laughs> 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 nigga got Aaron Jones. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. That's some bullshit, bro. That's why I didn't want to go to one minute, man. I'm sorry. I'm trying to speed this shit up. I know people got shit to do and things, things to, uh, um, things to do. Things, yeah, things to do. I didn't want no fucking Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones. Hey, bro, watch. That's gonna. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a return. Like, Man, shut up, all right, fuck you. Hope you have a horrible fucking season. Yeah. Trade you Aaron Jones for my last pick. Fuck. Damn, man. nigga. That's mad disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> Stephon Diggs. That's solid. <laughs> <laughs> that's who you wanted, huh, cuz? You want Yeah, Diggs? I was gonna get Stephon Diggs. That's some shit. And he took Zach Ertz. Yuck. Mm. I don't, I'm not taking no tight end early. I'm not. I can plug and play tight ends. I can plug day. and play quarterback. Shit. I, I say the same shit constantly. Every year, that's pretty much what I do. And then I find a, a good quarterback on the waiver wire and I run with him. And I run with him. Run with him. I don't think George Kittle was going to repeat of last year. I think that was an outlier. I think he's talented. But I, I, 1,300 yards, like almost double-digit touchdowns or something like that. Yeah, I mean, I, I, mean, I think obviously he's not going to have the same. No, he's not. I don't think he's just going to fall completely off a cliff. Right, but, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, this man was putting up his store numbers. That was a rookie. Mm-hmm. You know, if I'm not mistaken, that was his rookie year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that's not happening. I know. I was surprised on uh, Madden to see that he had some, like, superstar traits. But this dude, Ty- Tyreek, didn't get any. Bitch-ass nigga. He really sniped my fucking pick. I had to. It still hasn't Kiss popped up ass. on my screen. He took Amari Cooper. Ooh. In the fourth. That's good. That's yeah, damn good. That's solid. Him and Dak really be hooking up, bro. What has Stephon Diggs? Fuck off. Aaron Jones. That uh, shit, shit, got man. Aaron Jones. God damn. That's the only thing I hate about auto pick because it really be taking people I want. Yeah, I really hate that shit, bro. Ray is on the clock. On the quiz up. We are in the fourth round. Fuck it. Another hope pick. Got to let go and let God win. Get it? Get it? Dude, shut up. Okay. Is Chris Godwin? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up, man. Get it. All right. At this point, we need to... <laughs> Pull the plug. We need to sign a petition and get this nigga out of here for hey, commission. Bro. Hey, bro, I've been telling y'all. All right. I've been telling y'all, like, I'll... get this nigga out of here, dude. Bro, I just like playing. I don't like running this shit. Tiki torches and fucking tiki. left to riot, bro. Tiki torch. Tiki torch motherfuckers. So who you on with, Schroeder? 
and Brandon Cooks. I'm not mad in the fourth round. Me neither. I'm really not mad. That's that's a quality pick. That's that is a quality pick. I just hope my boy is still around on the next go. And he should be. Let's go. Nope. Auto pick. Come on, bet him. Whoever you want. Auto pick. No, he ain't. He hey, want Robert you. Woods? Not for real. <clears throat> I know who Ray want. Ray want Galladay. Kenny G. Kenny my G. melodies is heavenly. Oh, you ain't pick it. Yeah, no, I ain't pick it. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Get this nigga out. <laughs> Get him <Hey>. out. <laughs> Get <laughs> him out. No, no. As of this moment, you are not committed no more. I told y'all take the. Hey, Get this hey, nigga he out. The co- hey, I told y'all though. He the co-commissioner though. <laughs> Get this nigga out. <laughs> uh, I thoroughly apologize. Get Apparently, out, I have drafted Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> he auto picked. Get this thing out of here. Hey. Get him out of here. Where's the police? Get this nigga out of here, bro. Nah. Nah, don't say nothing. Matter of fact, you are on a minute mute. Don't talk. Just draft and do the commissioner duties that you were supposed to do you know in the, the first right, place. You know what the right thing would have been? If he auto picked himself. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, I, yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't pick the I didn't pick the dude I wanted. I picked the next dude in line, right? Ah, no, 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 All no. Right. I'll pick. <laughs> That's who it would have picked, motherfucker. Mm, debatable. This nigga here. Mm, mm, mm. Aaron Rodgers. If he gets hurt, we are fighting. <laughs> We are, hey, oh, we are fighting. Hey, that's fair. Hey, bro, I, I even tie one hand behind my back, bro. <laughs> now nah, that's fair. I'm not, uh, e- I'm not even that mad at the pick, but just the fact that it had, I know, I'm, I die. Cause Aaron Rodgers saw the pick. It is. <laughs> I'm not mad at it. <laughs> I need the quarterback, <laughs> especially in the fifth round. Yeah, I was low key kind of thinking about. Nah, it. don't so. let, hey, don't let Ravion yeah. sell himself up. Nah, hey, fuck that nigga. The second I. Get a sniff of, of a him getting ball. hurt. This nigga Ricky, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga always calls it inconvenient. To hey, bro. Hey, you're on the clock. You got five seconds. You better hurry. Me? Yeah, this nigga. Yo, you better do your out of picks and your commissioner duties. <laughs> and they pick for you. Now you got David Gun- Montgomery. The rookie David running back. Montgomery. The rookie running back from <laughs> Chicago. My man, my man rated R ain't having a very good draft right nah, now. Nah, man, my man's is off. But, uh, you got Bro, two, two running backs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I'm thinking this thing, I'm sick of myself, shit. <laughs> Vince going to uh, Deshaun Watson, though. I don't know if anybody else Yeah, saw that. I seen that, and I was just like, oh, I'm a little rich for my blood. Mm-hmm. I'd wait till, like, the seventh. Yeah. Who, who, is, who is Nikita going to roll with, though? Jarvis? Jarvis Landry. Damn. I'm not mad. I am. I'm not mad. <laughs> yeah, I, I am. wanted Jarvis. <laughs> I'm not mad. Damn it. <laughs> oh. This is where, like, this is really where you start making your money at. And these, like, later rounds like this. Because mm-hmm. it's easy to figure out who you're going to take in the first four. Yep. But, like, from five to, like, ten. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> Drew Brees is ranked as one of the best players, right? He's ranked at what, what they put him on the top 100, number two. Yeah. They, this motherfucker's not even the number one ranked fantasy quarterback. That's I'm, different. It is. It's, it's, it's different, it's but still, different. but still. I, Cause yeah, didn't they have them rated? Shit's higher fucking than, annoying. They had them rated harder than Mahomes. Yes. Man. I don't get it. It was. It went Khalil Mack, Drew Brees. I don't. That doesn't make any. It sense It doesn't to me. make sense. Cause I can understand if they said no, Khalil Mack. Then you mean Aaron Donald? Oh, Aaron Donald. My bad. Yeah. And then Khalil Mack was three. Yeah. And then I Pat can, at four. four. I yeah. can understand if they said Aaron Donald, then Mahomes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Literally, this is the reigning MVP. I wouldn't even be mad if they went Mahomes, Breeze. So, Donald, Mahomes, Breeze, one, two, three. I wouldn't even been mad at no, that. that would have been cool. 
But Mahomes at the four, literal reigning MVP. That's so. Baby Baker. Big baby Baker. Oh, shit, I'm Baker. Not, I'm not mad. Baker I'm not Mayfield, either. Man. Let's see what he does. Baker may have a great season. He may have an awful season, honestly. That's facts. Yeah. Yeah. He might hit that I sophomore slump. I think best case slump. scenario is like 40, 40 200. Well, all right. Yeah. My, my, my guy is gone. The guy I wanted. T.Y. or Kenny? Kenny. Thought he was going to fall to me. Oh, you oh, you was really with That's what you deserve, bro. At, at this point, that's yeah. what you deserve. I told you, bro. The auto pick fucks and you. And I hope I hope uh, Ezekiel Elliott doesn't get back to like week ten or some shit. <laughs> that's <laughs> a real bad hateful, bro. <laughs> that was a real bad juju on you. He really did. I'm the one that should be that man. <laughs> I know, and you're not. And it's throwing me off. This man is aggravated. I mean, he did get Aaron Jones. I'd be mad too. Well, and was, Montgomery. His third pick. And Montgomery. That nigga better be nice. That's too rich, man. I just gotta let go. This thing records better. Um, well, I'm not going straight to the USB. Really? What yeah. you mean? When the files aren't like, going you straight know, to the USB. When you go in and save it and set it to go straight to the USB. Uh huh. It does better when you're just going straight to the computer. Really? Yeah. No, okay. Because it takes shit out when I'm going straight to the USB. Gotcha. And then glitches and shit. Hmm. Yeah. Vince took Duke Johnson. I was thinking about it, but just round six for Duke Johnson. Yeah. Who I, I feel like the Texans might make a late round, not late, but like late uh, late preseason pick to try to get like somebody like a Melvin Gordon, maybe. My boy fell to me, though. <clears throat> Big Mike? Big Mike. Okay. I fuck with Mike Williams. Hey. Even though fuck him hey. for that game. He that was we went fucking to. y'all up, bro. <laughs> that motherfucker is nice. He is, man. I mean, I also has something to do with shitty corners, but that's a... Uh, that's big facts. <laughs> that is big facts. And a Bob Sutton-led defense, but... Facts. That's neither here nor there. All that shit is gone. Austin Eckler. Austin Eckler. Man, low-key, the Chargers, man, they have got a fucking squad. They really do. They're even all the way around. Did anyone see the video? That part is, uh, Rivers is still their quarterback. Oh, shots fired. Mm. Not even trying to be disrespectful. Yeah, I mean, I feel you. Uh, but, uh, damn, I can't think of the name of that YouTube channel. But they did a video on uh, the Chargers that were the best offensive and best defensive team of all time. Mm. Or not of all time, led the league in both those categories. Mm-hmm. Still didn't make playoffs. Damn. They need to have tight end like an open slot. So basically, two flex spots mm-hmm. instead of a tight end spot. Mm-hmm. I'd be down with that. I, this is the thing, man. Low key, we got to figure out a way to revalue, like up the value of certain positions. Do we? I think so. I think low key for tight ends, every reception for them, if we doing PPR, low key should be like one point five, just because how how special. Fair enough. One point five, one point two five. Enough. You know what I'm saying? Like something to add some value to that position because we look at us, like we are literally. Re- Who the fuck you take? <laughs> that boy is trash. You know he ain't coming back to like week ten. You are trash. <laughs> you are a fucking cartoon, dude. <laughs> Fuck it. Kareem the dream, baby. Shit. Kareem. <laughs> Kareem kick. Hey. Kareem kick. <laughs> oh, you're ignorant. I am. I am. You know what? I think I got enough to do this. Fuck it, though. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Bro, you got two risky court, uh, running backs. Yes. I was kind of thinking about taking I it. know. Because I, I was like, fuck, you know it. what? Fuck it. Because, look, if I'm <laughs> shitty, I get a good pick next year. But if I'm good as fuck, I'm going to take this shit. I'm going to take this shit. Low-key, Ray just be playing tank ball. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. Like, I, you got to risk it. You got to risk it. I feel it. I'm tired of, you know, th- this this pick six shit is trash. Hey, bro, we should make it where you can't draft Millie. Is that possible? Or Andrew Luck, because Andrew Luck's out there. Is he? Mm-hmm. What do you, what do you guys think about his retirement? Good for him. I think A little so, last minute, but... Yeah. I'm not mad at it at all. Ooh. I think... I, I wholeheartedly believe he'll end up... Uh, He'll be back. I'm trying to figure out a way to like block him from being like 
use, but it won't let me. Mm. It fucking sucks. I think that uh, at some point he will he will make a comeback. Yeah, I think so. Like in a year or two. Yeah. But man, he's been fucked up. Yeah. No, bro. When I looked at his list of his list of energies, I mean, I said energies, <laughs> injuries. <laughs> yeah. Insane. Don't tell me Ray just didn't knock this offline. Did I? I hope not. I accidentally turned on the uh the Xbox player. Oh, oh the Xbox. Yeah, it's my fault. That should make a weird noise. You oh, guys, icy guys, I ain't bro, guys, I ain't mad at it. Oh, he, Dolphin is in here now. Oh, he's back. He's he is here. Uh, I told him eleven thirty. He didn't listen. Sure didn't. Hope he's okay with his team. <laughs> uh, his team's not awful. You got Nick Chubb, Dalvin Cook, Keenan Allen, Leonard Fournette. It's a lot of running backs. A lot of running backs. <laughs> a lot of running backs. He's gonna have to make a lot of trades. Yeah. Because uh, Kenny Galladay and. Uh, Tyler Boyd, that's 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 a sticky situation. Yeah, huh? is Green out for the season or you just minor injuries? I'm off Green. I'm all the way off Green because I feel like they might try to shut him down for the season. Josh Gordon. Damn. Fuck. Damn. Fuck. I was trying to let him fall. <laughs> yes. Damn. <laughs> oh, dude. Man, Nikita Yo, Loki be out here. He really Making does. Making squads, bro. Sniping. He really does. Sniping. But the good thing is, is I feel like he's got a nice Achilles heel with Todd Gurley. Yeah. Because they're going that to was cap his first his, bit. Yes, they're going to cap his touches. Stephon Diggs is the clear 1B in that offense. Mm-hmm. Zach Ertz, I'm, mm, I'm, ah, ah. And then, Jar- like, I, I, I don't know. But I feel like I could do the same thing with my picks. Yeah, I feel that. Could just sit there and. Dissect my shit. Because low-key, bro, I'm looking sus with Zeke in the third. You said sus. Yeah, for real, bro. I feel it. David Johnson in the first. Okay. You're going to have to cut out some of this dead time. That's a fact. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of chopping. Yeah. yeah. Get him chopping. Ooh. Alshon Jeff? Alshon. In the eighth round? So okay. In the eighth round, I think that's yeah, pretty no, good. Yeah, no. Because I was... I'm sitting there, I'm rationalizing. I'm like, ah, Alshon. But, like, isn't that the fourth? Like, how niggas was mm-hmm. doing, like, you know, just a year ago? Mm-hmm. Isaac got Carson Wentz. I know he happy. <laughs> oh, yeah, he do like Philly, huh? Yeah. Anybody in the chat? No, Fuck no, it. for real. It's going to pay late. Who'd he pick? Hunter Henry. Fuck. <sighs> Your bitch. That was, that was my next pick. I guess it's about that time, man. I don't know. I can, I can make the leap. I can jump out the window. I'm going with the new juice. Who did? OJ Howard. Oh. Yeah. In the eighth. Yeah. yeah, I don't feel like I can lose him. Vince really went with AJ Green. Does he not know about the injury? Probably it's not. another lower body injury on AJ Green. Am I on the clock? Yes, you are. God damn, it is not showing me on the clock. I'm still on that. Oh, mm-hmm. shit! Nigga, you got uh, cricket? Nah, bro. He got Verizon. Mm-hmm. You would think he'd be all right out here. Ooh. And the worst part is... There it goes. Okay. That was like... Come on, I don't think it's... Because I was like, bro, if it auto-picks, it's going to pick fucking Lamar Miller. Hey, bro, you got 20 seconds on mine, so just... Anybody but Lamar Miller, bro. Keep that in mind. Fuck the league. <laughs> Somebody's trading for that. You are a <laughs> I was waiting. I was just like, I'm going to get Drew Brees. It's I got be- stuck. Because I was just like, bro, Loki, I'm going to be like Randy. 2013, Randy. <laughs> this man Breeze and fucking Adrian Peterson led this man to a championship. Man. I'll never Facts. forget, bro. <laughs> we was at that fucking, what's the name, at, uh, at IHOP, and this man Randy didn't even know he won. He was like, word, I won? <laughs> I was just like, yo, fuck this dude. <laughs> that shit mean everything to me and nothing to him. Latavius. 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 Okay, I think it's actually avoiding Lamar Miller. Okay, well, that's cool. Yeah. Thankfully. Man, my boy got off take, got taken off the board. Hey, Rob. Yeah, Allen Robinson. Back when he was with uh, Jacksonville, he led the league in touchdowns one year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what was it, 2015? The year we all thought uh, Blake Bortles was going to do something. We thought he was worth something, man. We was just like, you know, he a little rough around the mm-hmm. edges. We can get past that, right? Wrong. 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 Try again, motherfucker. 
for real, for real. <laughs> Try again. Ah, Darwin Thompson. God damn. People really like him, man. He's explosive as fuck. He is. He explosive as fuck. Man, got outrageous athleticism. <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm Njoku. not mad. I like Njoku. Yeah, me too. Especially in an approved offense. I like that. I oh, like fuck. that. fuck? You took Njoku? Yes, sir. Shit. Hey, bro. I'm, I'm going to keep it real. Some bad. Yeah, he was. Shut up. <laughs> hey, I say this, though. Yo, uh, Vance McDonald does look like he's going to have a good year. Matt Breida. Vince. Matt Breida. Matt Breida. That's my bet. No. At this, at this stage? Yeah. Yeah, we, in the, we in the ninth round. Of this I game. guess, but man, I don't trust him. You don't have to. Yeah, You're right. He's got three other running backs. Hey, because I don't think he's gonna fall to me. I'm gonna have to uh, go ahead and make that move. Stretch. Gotta reach a little bit, y'all. I feel it. Sometimes you gotta reach. And you know you gotta get your ca- handcuff your lead running backs. Tony Pollard. Handcuffs hmm. everybody. Handcuffs. Fair enough. Because if one of y'all had did it, I would have threw something at y'all. <laughs> you said what? If one of y'all had took Tony Pollard, I would have threw something at y'all. <laughs> I think I got some change in my pocket. Nigga, we deserve to throw something at your ass. Hey, I t- I've told y'all for the past year, I am a bad commissioner. Y'all have realized that I am a bad commissioner, and yet I'm still commissioner. So obviously, I'm doing the right thing. No, you if just I was the only really one that, you just the only one that cares. You, okay? if, I was, if I was a good commissioner, y'all probably would have wanted me out. Silence. So I'm right. No, nigga. We yep. don't focus on what you're talking about no more. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Ran Dizzle on the Clizzle. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. This nigga is stupid. <laughs> All on you. I'm not mad. It's, it's, it's late. It's about that time. You got to start filling out the rest of the roster. Mm-hmm. Got okay, good old Vance McDonald. Mm-hmm. Oh, reliable. You know, he'll get you a solid seven a week. That's right. Instead of putting you on a... Even though I'm not going to lie, I didn't got more goose eggs from dude rather than sevens. So. See how this nigga say that? As soon as he say, I think Vance mm-hmm. McDonald... But he's in a completely year. different offense, yeah, Randy. Shut up, dude. This was in fucking... What's San talking, Fran. bro? I'm tired of you, bro. You tired of me? You tired of me, Randy? This nigga just you now... Tired. He just now... Your boy just, your boy just got says, Eric bro. Ebron. He going out sad right now. All right? I don't know, man. Ebron had Fuck a comeback no. season last year. Yeah, with Andrew fucking Luck. Jacoby okay. Brissett is not going to be passing him the ball. <laughs> Jacoby <laughs> Brissett is going to be hitting fucking Jack Doyle. Rainbow Six. Uh... No. Yeah. Jacoby, it, it, man, listen, Jacoby Brissett is going to be hitting a lot of the fucking ground. Don't, man. That, they got, a, they got an happen. improved offensive line. That man. was main, That was one of the main issues. Yeah, I mean, you're right. He didn't. He literally had no time. And the fact that he was still trying to create plays because he got legs. But that's what I'm saying. He's gonna, The defense is going to be putting him on the ground. I don't think so. Mm-hmm. They The Let's offensive see. line is a lot better. Yeah. We didn't see Andrew Luck, you know, literally dying back there last year. That's true. Unless they was just going hard for luck because they realized how fucking bad he's been getting over here. I'm saying they are <laughs> depleted at this point. Your fucking franchise quarterback retires a week before the season. Hilarious. Damn. A defense in the 10th? Yeah, I could pass no, my bears. bears. I'm not mad. Even though I'll be forgetting it's this is our league. This is our league type of shit. Yeah. I don't know why. I, I'll be expecting everybody to like one day just start thinking yeah. like these analysts and nobody does. We we've seen defenses go in some early fucking rounds. Yeah, what was it? I never. I, uh, what was it like? 2015, 2016? We had a defense go like in the seventh. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, it was a shutdown defense, but <laughs> right, <laughs> like really? What round are we on now? Tenth. We are getting late into the draft. Ray is on the clock. I'm on the. I don't know. Said it. <sighs> I'm taking niggas handcuffs. Daryl Henderson. Darrell. <laughs> nice. <laughs> he found a way to, to find a homer pick. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, I I had to take the early one from y'all, though. Good old Vince. Vizzle. Vicky, Vicky. I think I'm going to take Andrew Luck. Why not? <laughs> Why not, man? I'm going to take no more quarterbacks, Randy. Oh, I almost said Randy, but uh, Levi. I'm taking no more quarterbacks. You know what? <laughs> Don't take no more Trade bait. 
I thought you did it for real. I was like, bro, come on. <laughs> there are some nice quarterbacks it out is. here, though. Leave that shit alone. These is nice. Oh, it's going to make somebody draft LaShawn McCoy because it ain't updated. Shady. He ain't got a team. Not yet. He might go pick a book. Who? 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 Shit, y'all should pick him up. Cats. If he was cheap. Oh, he can be right now. He's cheap. What leverage does he have? I'm shady. Hey, I don't know. I don't know why. We just, uh, I just thought of, but like, do y'all think Melo's going to actually get picked up by somebody, bro? At this point, I don't know. I'm so worried about dude. The Nets need to pick him up, though, and quit playing. The Nets? Yeah. Why the Nets, Nets or the Knicks? Nets. Okay. Oh, I seen you saying something about no that on Twitter. Yo, this man. Yeah. Now, yo, now this man Dustin is in the draft. Now. <laughs> now. You might as well just go ahead and let us see him the rest of it, bro. Might as well. Oh, I can make some last minute picks, you know. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Not that nigga talk like Rocky, bro. Uh, <laughs> Adrian. <laughs> Adrian. <laughs> he got D-Hop and Mike Evans, though. I'm solid little receiving core. But he got Julian Edelman. Edelman, as he like to say. <laughs> Edelman. <laughs> Edelman. He got one of my one of my actual favorite guys. He got Cup. That's who I really, really wanted. Really? Got, yeah. Cooper Cup. God damn it. I don't drive. Like Cooper I don't take be pissed. Cam Cam. Me Cammy Cam. Round eleven. We in there. Will Fuller finally went off the board. Yeah, man. I like Will Fuller. Yeah, me too. I was thinking about drafting him earlier. They said they was actually gonna move him around a lot more. Really? Yeah. So, that's just mismatches all over the field. Sterling Shepard, uh, I'm on some real low key outside of uh, Evan Ingram and uh, Saquon. Never Giants for me. Cause what Tate ain't coming back till week four. I'm good. Dante Pettis. Mmm. Not mad at that pick. Rams. Rams defense. I'm surprised Randy didn't go Rams. Yeah, me too. Why? Wow. I don't know. I just. Just figured you more for a Rams dude rather than the Bears. The Bears. Bears defense. Gritty, dog. They make games ugly, bro. That's Shit, true. Rams got a, what's his name, didn't they? I think they went and got Weddle. They yeah. got Clay Matthews. No, too. Weddle is a Ram. And also yeah, that's Clay Matthews is a Ram. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you yeah. guys were talking about the Bears. No, 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 no. Okay, no. gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Ooh. That's my bad. It's all good. Yeah, that, that, that's scared you. Butker, fucking Homer. <laughs> yeah, I'm, right, I'm not mad at that. Kicker now? now, like I literally wait until the last two yeah. rounds. Literally, I don't, I don't draft a kicker ever. Oh, we running low? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, I figured. Oh, I shit. I, I'm on the fucking clock. Y'all ain't want to say nothing. That's fucked up. Fuck you. Yeah, fair enough. Nigga, you ain't say nothing to me till like five seconds. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> This nigga said five seconds. You're on the clock. You're on the clock, bitch. <laughs> mm, fuck it. Who's Ray going with? James Washington. I was thinking about going more so, uh, what's that boy's name? Moncrief. Mm, I was looking at him, too. I didn't realize he was in uh, Pittsburgh. You know, because that's a pass-first offense. Exactly. But I'm thinking James Washington, they... they you know, he had a, like, rough first year. Rough, I'm expecting him to, you know, take a step forward, maybe. Maybe. Just maybe. Who is Matt you going with? <laughs> I have a an interesting draft strategy the rest of this draft. We about to do some fuck shit. I am. <laughs> I am. Just a lot of fuck shit. A lot of it. I'm upset. Austin, Austin Hooper. Hooper. That's two tight ends for him. Nice. Two tight ends. And he's got Russell Wilson. That's not bad. No. Nah, it's a good anchor. Man. Eric Brady. would lose his shit if he was here because Lamar Jackson went above Russell Wilson. <laughs> went above Russell Wilson. <laughs> In our draft. Big Ben. I almost called his, uh, you know, ben. I almost called him his real name, but uh, I'm going to hold that back. So we're just rounding out our draft pretty much. Like, What round are we in? We are in the 12th. 12th round. We're not going to keep recording. We're about to finish up the draft and go about our fucking day. But we appreciate you guys tuning in to the Showbank Show. Yes, we That's do. the episode for today. I'm your boy, Rated R Randy. Got my dog. 
Rowdy Ray, Papa yep. Show, and EDJ Punk Ass is not here. But we wish him well, and he's going to be back next week. And we're going to be back better than ever. Showbanks out. Just wanted to give a quick shout out to Endeavor Podcast Solutions. We appreciate all the love. They were showing mad love. So, got to, you know, you got to give what you get. Same to my man, Uno Punch, doing a whole lot of reposting. So, this is our way of showing love back to him. Appreciate you. And shout out my boy, Tyrone. You know who you got to call on. That's my dog. Appreciate you, man. Baby, sauce over the stove, baby, yeah. Oh, baby, yeah.